What is this? It's magnetic declination chart. The black lines are magnetic declination. The blue ones are geographical. Yeah, meridians. Meridian, and, uh, yeah, longitude. You see, approaching, approaching the pole, they all come together. Orienteering is very, very difficult near, uh, so, near yeah. the pole. Maybe with the sun? It's, it's possible to tell uh, the way using the sun uh, when you are maybe uh, three miles, four miles from the pole. But coming closer, time zones, they change very, very quickly. And uh, the sun position in the sky you is answer. not definite, you know. Uh, and only GPS can tell you uh, the exact position of uh, the pole. In Antarctica, it's possible uh, to make a triangular and to make observations and to find the exact uh, point of uh, the pole, pole, yeah? As Scott did yeah. and Amundsen. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. In Antarctica, and they put the pole and they put the tent exactly on the South Pole. But in the Arctic, ice is drifting all the time. Mm -hmm. You can be in one hour already several miles from the pole. So all uh, observations they do not help because they usually take a lot of time, especially at polar day when you fix uh, the position of the sun, longitude, and all these parameters. Yeah, so yeah. it's uh, almost impossible uh, to tell the exact position of the North Pole using astronomical devices. You know, in St. Petersburg we have an Institute of Terrestrial Magnetism and they produce these magnetic charts. Uh -huh. And uh, they do uh, magnetic observations permanently. They correct the every, magnetic every change. Day. It changes. Yeah, they yeah. say that uh, you must correct magnetic charts every five, seven years.